and welcome back to STEM Powered. In our last video, we interviewed Rutgers engineering students, but today we'll be learning about packaging engineering and do an activity that they introduced to the club. I'm sure many of you are wondering, what is packaging engineering? Packaging engineers design and create the packaging for products. These packages must not only keep the product safe during transportation, distribution, storage, retail, and use, but it also has to be cost-effective and up to code. There is also a business aspect to packaging engineering, because packaging engineers must figure out the best way to showcase the product. There are three different levels of packaging, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary packaging is the package that directly contains the product. It is sometimes called consumer or retail packaging. Secondary packaging is used to hold the primary packages and is used in stores to display the product. It is sometimes referred to as grouped or display packaging. Finally, there is tertiary packaging, which is used to mass distribute the product. Consumers rarely see tertiary packaging since it is mainly used during the distribution process. Packaging engineers are hired by hundreds of companies to figure out the best ways to protect and transport products. Some examples of these companies include Bristol Myers Squibb, Johnson & Johnson, Mary Kay, Avon, Colgate Palm Oil, Revlon, and Pfizer. So now that you have a basic understanding of packaging engineering, here is today's challenge. Using any materials, create a package that will protect a cookie dropped from a height. Try to use as few materials as possible to be more cost effective. As a bonus, can you find a way to show off the cookie from a marketing standpoint too? The overall idea for my package is a small secure box that will protect the cookie when dropped from somewhere high. The materials that I used were cardboard, bubble wrap, saran wrap, and tape. First, I marked the length and width of my cookie on a piece of cardboard and cut the cardboard to the dimensions that I wanted. Then, I measured the height of my cookie and cut a piece of cardboard that was slightly taller than the cookie and the same length as it. I repeated this step three more times so that I had four pieces of cardboard to make the sides of my box. Next, I taped all of my pieces of cardboard together so that I made a box without a top. Then, I cut another piece of cardboard with the same dimensions as the base and taped it to the bottom of the box. This adds another layer of protection. Before I put the cookie in the box, I added a layer of bubble wrap. Once the cookie was in the box, I covered the top with saran wrap and decorated it with a marker. This incorporates the business aspect of packaging engineering since it allows consumers to see the product. First, I tested my package by dropping it normally. Next, I dropped my package from on top of a ladder. It worked! Then, I decided to take it up a notch and drop the package from the second floor of a building. Finally, I dropped the cookie from the third floor of the building. After all four tests, my cookie was still intact. hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to give special thanks to the Rutgers Target program for teaching me about all types of engineering, including packaging engineering. Bye!